Hello. This video is going to examine the importance of iron in our bodies, specifically the importance of iron after weight loss surgery, and even more specifically the importance of iron in patients who've had gastric bypass surgery. Iron is a key element that all of us need for existence, but it's particularly important after gastric bypass surgery because those patients are at risk for getting deficiencies in iron. Why is iron so important? The best way to think of iron is like glue for oxygen. Iron is able to bind to oxygen in the lung and then deliver that oxygen all throughout our bodies. The way it does that is by being incorporated in a molecule called heme. Heme is a molecule in the body and four heme molecules make up hemoglobin. Hemoglobin packs into red blood cells and it's the red blood cells that actually go through the lungs, pick up oxygen, and then deliver that oxygen all throughout our body. Without iron to actually bind to that oxygen and carry it, the whole system would break down. So that's why iron is so critically important. Iron comes in many different foods that we eat. For example, it comes in red meat, poultry, egg yolks, spinach and collard greens, or any other dark green leafy vegetables. It also comes in beans, and dried fruit like prunes or raisins. So why are gastric bypass patients at such high risk for iron deficiency? Well, there are actually a few reasons for that. For one thing, iron is actually absorbed best in the duodenum and in the proximal jejunum. Those are the first parts of the intestine. And with the gastric bypass surgery, we actually bypass those sections of the intestine. So when you eat foods, those foods no longer access that part of the intestine Therefore, you can't absorb iron as well after these kinds of surgeries. Another reason is that some patients who've had gastric bypass surgery may have difficulty tolerating meats, especially beef or uh, chicken breasts, which are high in iron. And as a result, if they avoid those foods, then they're losing a big source of where they could get iron. Another reason is menstrual cycles. So young women who have had the surgery and are losing blood every month are losing iron also. Uh, and for women who have very heavy menstrual flows, they're losing even more iron. If they've had gastric bypass surgery and have difficulty tolerating foods that are high in iron, or can't absorb those foods uh, and, and, and get, extract the iron from them, then you can see that it doesn't take long to become iron deficient. People who have low iron will have symptoms of fatigue and tiredness and feeling like they have no energy. They also may feel like when they exert themselves, they get short of breath very easily or run out of steam. After gastric bypass surgery, we want to screen patients for iron deficiency so that we can detect early signs of deficiency before patients start getting those symptoms of the fatigue and the tiredness. We screen patients with a simple blood test called ferritin. And ferritin levels will give us an indicator of how well the person is absorbing and, and maintaining an adequate iron level. We typically want our ferritin levels to be greater than 30. That indicates that you're getting enough iron and you're absorbing enough iron also. We want to check that ferritin level every six months for the rest of your life after you've had gastric bypass surgery. To treat an iron deficiency, we have a multi-pronged approach. So there are several things we need to do to get that iron back up to where it needs to be. The first thing is making sure you get enough food that's high in iron in your diet. And you can find a list of those foods on our website at carolinasurgical.com. The second thing that we do is also add an iron pill. And these iron pills you can get over the counter in any drugstore or grocery store in the vitamin section. What you're looking for is a pill that has 65 milligrams of elemental iron. Iron comes in many forms, but the most common form is ferrous sulfate. And it will usually say on the bottle 325 milligrams of ferrous sulfate, but that will give you 65 milligrams of elemental iron. You have to take those tablets two times a day or three times a day, depending on what your doctor requests. You have to split the doses up. You can't just take all two or three pills at one time. Preferentially, you don't want to take the iron with any antacid medicines or calcium pills because that can reduce the absorption of the iron. 
It's also better if you can take it on an empty stomach, but not everyone tolerates that. The best way to absorb iron is to take vitamin C along with it. So that means you can have your iron with some orange juice, or you can take a vitamin C pill along with it, and that will actually improve your body's ability to absorb that iron. Now the most important thing for iron deficiency is to make sure we're not losing any blood anywhere. So, for women who have heavy menstrual flows, we want to make sure we get them back to their gynecologist to either start a birth control pill or an IUD or some other measure to try to slow the flow of bleeding down each month. Because it's very hard to replace iron when you're constantly losing it with the menstrual flow. So those are the things that we do to get the iron back up in patients who've had a deficiency. And almost always when we get the iron levels back up, patients report that they feel better, they have more energy, and uh, they don't get short of breath or tired as much as they used to. So it really, really does work and it's very important to make sure we stay on top of the iron levels, especially after gastric bypass surgery. Thank you and I wish you health and happiness.